when our long before the advent of television, people had to find other ways of entertaining themselves, and one of the most popular was listening to live music at the local bandstand. Yes, and many are still going strong in our region, but as Rachel Hepworth reports, they are all benefiting from a bit of a boost this weekend. <laughs> An evocative sound conjuring up images of cobbles and collieries more associated with the north of England. But each week across the south, thousands of amateur musicians give up their time to make music together. This is the Dernavaria Silver Band, delighting audiences in Dorchester for more than 70 years. We love to do what we do and entertain people. Formed in 1936, We've been going without a break ever since. We hope the public enjoy it as well. But it's not just about the music, it's about the setting as well. And these wonderful bandstands are a visible reminder of our social heritage, a lasting link to times gone by. In the turn of the 20th century, there were about 40,000 brass bands around the UK, a massive number. And so if you see pictures, paintings, or indeed old photographs, you can see the bands absolutely surrounded by people really, really enjoying their local musicians play. And they have a history. Eastbournes may have changed over the years, but it's still spectacular, commemorating a local bandsman who died on the Titanic. More poignant is the bandstand at Deal in Kent, dedicated to 11 musicians from the Royal Marines, killed when an IRA bomb ripped through their barracks 20 years ago this week. It's a way of saying to the community of South East here in Deal particularly that we haven't forgotten and we do remember and care about the families who they left behind. But bandstands have been in decline. From one in every park a century ago, around 300 remain. Time to think again, says Paul Smith, who's organising a bandstand marathon on Sunday. We have about 120 simultaneous concerts on bandstands throughout the UK, same day at the same time. It's part of the Cultural Olympiad, a uh, celebration of this country's culture leading up to the, the London 2012 Games. It's just good for the soul. That might sound a bit corny, but I think it is. There are success stories. Hearn Bays has been transformed to its former glory, and local school children helped to design Bexhill's striking new bandstand, a welcome addition to the pavilion. Brighton's Birdcage Bandstand reopened earlier this year following a long campaign by local residents. It's now a platform for a new generation of musicians. Who knows, their great-great-grandparents could have been one of these promenaders, though the music, one suspects, would have been very different. Rachel Hepworth in Dorchester for Meridian Tonight. Love the Muppets. Oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I genuinely do. Oh, they're going to love that. <laughs>